In today's video, we'll be doing a top 10 on all of the running backs inside of Madden. Let's get right into that number 10. Before we get into the video, make sure to go down right into the comments right now and let me know which running back, running backs, whatever you're using in your backfield right now. I love reading these comments. But anyways, let's get into our number 10. Number 10, before we get into our card, Edger and James, Edge, whatever you want to call him, this list is actually very top heavy. I feel like when we're playing Madden, the top like six guys are the cards you really see all the time. And at the bottom, it's like there's a lot of guys fighting for this kind of range. But like I said, a very, very top heavy list with the running backs. Not many getting introduced into the game or released into the game lately. So a lot of those cards are just sitting up there. But as you guys can see, still a very good card. He is only a 97 overall, but 96 speed is kind of the average right now. I would say he gets powered up to a 97, which is very, very good, obviously. Not the best excel on him or obviously it doesn't stack up with the speed i would love to see the i usually like to see the excel is like almost kind of like the same speed as the speed sometimes if that makes sense but if you guys look at the carrying the the catching everything is really well balanced on this card he's a very very good i think anything above like 80 catching for a running back is pretty good it's definitely very very manageable especially if you have a backfield mismatch on a guy with 87 catching he's gonna literally catch everything for you he's also a pretty big running back as well six foot two 219 pounds he can do it all i love this card he has really good animations as well being a taller running back edge is a just a all-around very good card in this game Number nine, we have Najee Harris. And Najee Harris, these team champion cards are very expensive. I feel like you never actually see these cards because believe it or not, this card is more expensive than any other card on this list. Believe that or not, I think he is, or at least tied with one other guy. This guy is like, he's very expensive, this promo. Obviously, you have to do the set to get him. But that's why you just don't see. I still think he's a very good card. When you look at him, he's almost the exact same card as our guy Edge right there. Same speed. He has much better Excel though. Like I said, I like to see the Excel similar to the speed or even higher and his is higher than his speed which is helps definitely helps he has really good carrying his catching's even one plus better he has the same change direction type of stats right there same trucking and break tackle stats there and he's literally just 11 pounds heavier same height as well he's literally edged but just a tiny bit better in almost every single stat Najee harris although i'm a brown fan we don't really like those steelers guys Still a very good card nonetheless. Number eight, we have the brand new LeGarrette Blunt. So this is one of the running backs that actually came into the game recently. I think it was not this release, but two releases ago. So yeah, like basically last Wednesday, you guys could see this LeGarrette Blunt came up for the veteran promo. He has 96 speed. So unlike like those guys we were just showing you guys were elusive backs. He's a power back with the same speed as him. Very good Excel as well. The agility, obviously not there, but He's a power back. You're going to be really running in straight lines most of the time anyways. Air trucking. The 95 carrying on him. He has 88 change direction. Like I said, the agility and change direction for the power backs. You guys got to remember, he can air truck. Air trucking is above 246 pounds. He is 250 pounds. He can air truck, which makes his card so much better. You obviously, if you don't know what air trucking is, it's when you're trucking. and You, uh, you know what it is. I don't even know what I'm trying to explain. It's May. It's May. I don't know. But 96 trucking and 97 break tackle as well. He's literally just another Derrick Henry out here. That's what he is LeGarrette Blunt an amazing card like I said with those stats that are very minor the air trucking definitely makes up where he's a power back anyways you're not going to use him like an elusive back anyways number seven we do have Derrick Henry who's very very similar to LeGarrette Blunt you guys could see the exact same speed the excel is very very similar as well the agility is a little bit better on him and the change direction is much better that's why I'm taking Derrick Henry and also you guys like I said they're both like gonna be play like the same exact card they both weigh like the same exact amount although Derrick Henry is taller I th th like I said, they're both air truckers anyways. They're both 246 pounds above. Derrick Henry, with the with the boosted change direction compared to LeGarrette Blunt, you have to take him over unless you're using LeGarrette in a theme team or something. Derrick Henry is just an absolute beast. Definitely one of the best power backs in the game. Came out a while ago. You can see there's a lot of 97s on this list, which is crazy. At number six, we do have Barry Sanders, and this was the card that I thought that stacked up with the price of Najee Harris. And no, this card is still 100k cheaper than Najee, so that's exactly why you don't see many Najees out there, except unless like you're like a diehard Najee fan, you know, an Alabama Steelers fan. You know, like that card is literally 100k more than the card that I thought that was going to be the most expensive in Barry. But Barry, you guys could see he's going to get 99 speed on your team, which is amazing, right? Very amazing card. When you look at this card, you'd think he'd be one of the best like number one two three right here on the list but as you guys know with this barry card barry in real life obviously i didn't get to watch him i wasn't alive or 
Yeah, I wasn't alive when he played, but he had some of the craziest highlights we've ever seen on the YouTube anything, right? The craziest shit that you're running back. In Madden, he turns like a like a dumpster. He's one of the worst jukers in the game. It's just, I mean, his juke's not that bad, but compared to what he should be, he's definitely, definitely a down play. But those stats all around definitely do carry him. I think the brake tackle and the truck and the speed definitely, like, help him. But like I said, when I use this card, I just use the changer. Direction. I didn't juke. I didn't spin. It was just too hard to. You literally couldn't with this card. So I always use the like just the swerving with my change direction. It was definitely a downplay. He does get that one AP tank, but like I said, with tank can be in the past. If you're playing against somebody who's very well disciplined against tank, they literally you can write that ability off right away by just dive tackling at him. But Barry Sanders, like I said, very good card nonetheless. Still a top six running back in the game. I just wish he could play like himself. You know what I mean? They gave him the worst animations in the game. Number five, we have Ladanian Tomlinson, and I think like this top six is like very very close all these cards i don't think there's like a by far the best running back right now honestly in the game i feel like a lot of it is preference i do like lt though he's a very well balanced card in the game 97 is basically the average like i said we have a couple guys that are 98 on this list but 97 lt like i said very very average speed right there or it's it's good it's good trust me it's good he has 99 excel which is amazing when powered up you have 99 agility very good change of direction i really was like i know he still has high catch right but i feel like that 90 threshold in catching has made these guys feel like wide receivers out the backfield and it sucks he's only hitting an 89 i felt like there are some guys that have 90 that definitely weren't better pass catchers than ladaney thomas we're not getting any names here but i don't know i just felt like he definitely should have 90 catching on his card but nonetheless still like a very uh, really balanced card he has even above 90 trucking 99 break tackle this just shows how good this list is that this card's at number five. At number four, we do have Reggie Bush. And before you guys complain about this one, hear me out on him. He has 97 Excel. Although you're losing a little bit in that Excel, in or 97 speed, you're losing a little bit in that Excel in agility. I love this card because, like I said, the 90 threshold, although it's one point, this game goes off thresholds, by the way. For any of you guys who do not know, once you hit, like, the 80 threshold, then you jump up a whole new category. Once you hit the 90 threshold, you jump up a whole new category. It doesn't go by, like, one point like you think it does. He he has 99 change direction on his team as well. I always get the question about the trucking. You're not going to truck with Reggie Bush ever. Even with LT, he has 90 truck. You're never going to truck with LT. So that stat literally does not matter at all. It depends on how you play the card. You're not going to truck with a lot of cards. Uh, it, I, I never understood why people always question that. Like with Chris Johnson, when that card came out, people were met, like, he had 30-something truck. You don't truck with Chris. Like, you know what I mean? I never understood why that's like such a focal point with a lot of people. It doesn't matter at all. But he has 95 break tackle. Although he seems like he's downplayed a lot completely compared to our guy LT. I think I will take him over because of the receiving back archetype. I do think that is a big deal because you can get the backfield master for one AP, which is a big deal for a lot of people who are using maybe not Haro Master, or that that's the only ability you want to use with the Texas routes, the Ghost routes. I think it's very close. Him and LT are almost like these same exact cards. One has trucking and one has 90 threshold catching. Depends on what you... I would take Reggie if you throw the ball more. If you want to run the ball and be more balanced, I would take LT, but very close with these two. I've never done this before on this list, but our number three and two are actually tied. I'm going to be honest. These cards are... I, I don't know which one to put above the other. I it's I it's very very hard for me. But anyways, let's get right into our number three. I guess I, I'll, I'll just show one and then the other. Like I said, they're tied in my mind. Number three, we have Darrington Evans and Darrington Evans. This card I used him all stream yesterday. I absolutely have loved this card. Obviously, I'm trying not to put my personal like thought into this because if you guys do not know, Darrington Evans is actually a mod in my Twitch chat. He's one of my guys. I absolutely love the guy as just you know, as a non-football player and obviously as a football player as well. Now that he got a card, it makes it even happier. But like I said, I'm putting my nine non-bias to the side because if I were, he's honestly played the best out of every card for me personally, but I know statistically there are cards that are better or tied with him, but he does have 97 speed, right? So it's not 98 like some of these guys we've showed because you can't power him up, sadly, but he still is very good nonetheless when it comes to all these stats. He's going to have very good agility, very good excel. He has 99 carrying. This card should never fumble for you, like ever. He should never. 82 catching, although I wish they boosted the catching. You'll see why they didn't later. I, I love what they boosted on him. They boosted the trucking, the break tackle. I think they boosted the carrying as well. Oh, but I'm pretty sure we had a 90 not where do we have a 99 as well they might have boosted the 99 spin move but then I saw this he is 99 medium 
which if you guys do not know i'm pretty sure a wheel route considers a medium so as you guys know medium route or wheel routes are broken in madden and he has a 99 medium route so i don't know what they boosted on this card i think carrying is probably already a 99 or break tackles maybe already a 99 but yeah he has 99 medium route running which is huge for the wheel routes which are broken in this game right now and also that does consist of the angle route out the backfield so he is literally nuts out the backfield when it comes to pass catching as well i would put backfield mismatch on him to make that 82 feel like a 99 for you but an all-around card like i said he played amazing for me no bias aside like i said he's super dope love the guy but he's still tied for that two spot for me and number two, we have A.J. Dillon, and A.J. Dillon is an absolute beast in this game. Although, like I said, I've actually had a pretty bad time with this card. I'm going to be honest. Like, there's times where I've had an awful, you know, little span with a card. A.J. Dillon wasn't the best for me. He even fumbled in the gameplay I did on my YouTube channel on this card, which is obviously not a good look, right? And then I kept him after he fumbled in my Super Bowl as well this past week on stream. It's been rough. I'm not going to lie. But nonetheless, he has 247 pounds. He's going to air truck for you. He has the same speed as our guy Darrington there. He obviously has better catching, right? But like I said, he doesn't feel as good out the backfield. And I really do think it has to do with that route running. When you look at him as well, 54 medium route running. He has 99 shorts. But if you guys know, I think short only consists of like the out routes or like the in routes. I'm pretty like I'm almost positive that a wheel route is consistent of a medium. And I know for sure the angle route is considered a, a deep route because of how far it goes but i don't know this card like i said very good i like i said i'm not writing it off because he's played bad for me that's not how i do my list i know i only used him for a little bit but at the end of the day he's very very good all around a power back with 99 catching how does it get much better than this guys he oh yeah i do have to write off his negatives why he's not number one he has the worst animations in the game obviously he's a power back we know that but when it comes to sometimes you're gonna have to spin sometimes when there's like a wide open spin like when i had this card i would be like oh if i would have been able to spin there i would have had another 10 yards you can't do it with aj dylan he has the worst spin in the game he has the one of the worst jukes in the game he's really a catch the ball and truck that's what he could do that's all he could do number one i have bo jackson i love 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 this card although he's not a golden ticket he still is bo jackson right he's 99 speed he has very good excel on him his agility is not as high i feel like they just always bring the agility down on the power backs but un unlike the other power backs in this game he does have 97 change of direction which is nuts 99 trucking 97 break tackle his catching is even good for a power back 87 catching for a power back is amazing just like Najee earlier in the list we showed you very good carrying and as you guys know he has bow nose. I know if you're if you're a passer, you probably don't have it. He's still very good, even if you're just a passer. But if you're a runner, I feel like he, I know AJ Dillon's a very good runner. Darrington Evans is very balanced. But Bo Jackson, Bo knows there's no skill involved. There's literally none. There's not a single bit of skill involved in Bo knows. That's why I think a card that takes literally no skill at all to use like Bo Jackson once you get him activated, and it takes literally one or no no it's six attempts of one yard to get Bo knows activated. This card, like I said. Uh, you could hand this card to a player that doesn't even know what a first down is, doesn't even know what football is, and they could still probably get 50 yards a game on you with this Bo Jackson card. But anyways, yeah, definitely our number one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I Right now, I'm using Darian Evans, like I said, very biased to my card. My end game running backs, I think, are going to be Vita Vea and Darrington. I'm super excited for Vita. Hopefully, they don't cheat him super bad on that speed. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which running back you are using. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.